presentation. With this, I would like to call upon the Ministry of Railway as the Treasury bench is being headed by Amo Gayatri and the team. Amo, kindly come forward with your team to present your budget. Yes. Can you please allow the screen sharing? So who is presenting the screen? Uh, me. <coughs> Uh, Amog? Yes. Okay. Yeah, Amog, you can now present. I'm, I made you co-host. Okay, thank you. Okay. <clears throat> Greetings, everyone. Today, we, the Ministry of Railways, are presenting here the budget of Railway Ministry for the financial year 2023 to 2024 with my fellow ministers, Anvi Sahadev, Moksh Jindal, and Amog Giroti. Uh, Amog, please change the side slide, please. Yeah. Now, <laughs> why railways matter? Well, Railways are the key part in providing employment for our citizens. Railways provide 13 lakh people employment. And railways are the more affordable transportation for an average person in our India. And railways is also working on a very efficient manner of working. And railways helps us connect the most remote areas of our country and that is very beneficial for our whole society as a whole, as no region gets, uh, gets set aside. And railways provide a very cheap transportation for trade and commerce. And if the railways doesn't work efficiently, the trade and commerce will suffer huge transport. And our budget will focus on those delays and small, small inefficiencies. And Environmental sustainability is also a key part in our budget as we will be introducing hydrogen trains and continuing our electrification process. Yes. As, as I will thank the finance minister, honorable speaker, as to allocate the highest ever capital expenditure on our railway. As the capital expenditure is 33% more, or I shall say 50 six percent also there's an there's a disturbance i suppose uh, and there's a very peak spike in our capital expenditure which i'm very thankful for and we will be investing the capital expenditure very efficiently and very wisely please send the slide uh, and Though our railways are a very prosperous industry, there are some setbacks of Indian railways, and that are that are safety concerns. Every year, 22,000 people die because of railways accidents, and so. And poor sanitation conditions in our trains are also a major problem. And inefficiency and corruption still play a part in the set in a drop in the. Uh, in drawbacking the railways and overcrowding and capacity con constraints are also a problem in our railway. As many people without tickets or board on the trains for saving their money. Please send the slide a move. And I would like to head, uh, hand this to our Moksh. Moksh. We have proposed many ideas and budget for financial years 2023 and 24. Amok, next. There are many schemes and initiatives which we will be launching. First is Swach Evam Saral Chuk Chuk Gadi Yojana. This will have two parts. Swach Chuk Chuk Gadi Yojana and Suraksha Chuk Chuk Gadi Yojana. Next slide Amok. In its first initiative, we will be allocating 2000 crores money. It, its main objective will be to give a better sanitation facilities 
to all the railways consumers move next slide i am actually doing to... it it's lagging i don't know why it's lagging in its second phase we will be launching swakshit chup chup gaadi yojana in this we will be having constable in each coaches of train including female constable this will help reducing the death rate and rape cases which have especially increased the safety of women next slide the wow. next thank you your five minutes are over thank you team uh, ministry of railway your five minutes are over now it's the yes. shakshi shakshi give them just two more minutes okay they have just not come okay. now heading to anvi sehdi my team partner yeah the next uh, policy we have is atmanirbhar bharat in defense for which we have allocated to uh, 2500 crores and we are providing efficient logistics for supporting military hardware and subsidizing our indigenous private defense equipment companies and this will also accomplish our goal for becoming self sufficient the next is new tracks new train yojana or n2t2 in which we plan to build 7000 kilometers of new track through railway lines gauge conversions and track doubling tripling or quadrupling at an average of 20 km per day for which we have allocated 1 lakh crore the uh, next is that the ministry plans to construct 1000 new over bridges and under bridges on railway tracks to eliminate track level disruptions for which we have allocated 15000 crores the next is the ministry plans to develop 1275 stations under the atmanirbhar bharat scheme for which we have allocated 20000 crores next we are going to establish 2000 jan suvidha kendra for daily use convenience items at railway stations for which we have used 10000 crores of our budget ministry also plans to construct 1000 Wait. Wait. Introduction of intercity one-way metro shuttles, hydrogen trains on heritage routes. Total cost of this program will be four thousand forty thousand crore rupees. On time guarantee, reducing delay time, fine system, finding the drivers of the trains if the trains are late, modernizing railways, and improving communication systems. cost of this is 1000 crore rupees innovation in railways expand expanding the automatic fare collection system and we have allocated 200 crores for this project railway sudharo sathi we have made a portal which will contain both website and app so the general public can raise complaints about the train if they find any kind of um, any kind of disturbances with their trip thank you thank you for your budget presentation to uh, the ministry of railway now i would like to call upon the opposition shubham kumar to kindly uh, shubham kumar and the team to kindly come forward and ask the questions should i stop sharing the screen sure you can Okay, so my first question would be: uh, You introduced a scheme named uh, Switch. Ma, it would be better if you switch on your camera. I'm um, sorry, speaker, but uh, uh, it is not possible as I am facing a lot of uh, bandwidth issues. Okay. Thank you for the permission. Yes. Uh, so first, uh, uh, my my first question is that uh, you have uh, given a uh, allocated a budget of uh, about two thousand crore rupees for the Swachh Chuk Chuk Gadi Yojana. Okay. Uh, so if we see the budget which has been proposed this year, we are already having a column for this in which uh, maintenance of the trains are done. And second part, um, uh, there are separate maintenance centers of the train uh, uh, in which uh, after every journey the trains are uh, cleaned and they are sanitized. So what would be your uh, reply for this? Yes, I surely agree that those are there. But as we can see, the trains are not up to mark. So we need to ensure that the trains are totally cleaned and no disease can spread from uh, people. So 
uh, we have allocated this budget for that reason. Uh, also, the washroom facility of trains is very bad. So that is also one reason. Okay, so can you tell me what, uh, by what amount have you increased the uh, cost for the maintenance of the trains? Uh, I don't actually know that, but uh, according to me, it's about five times. Um, okay, fine. Um, second part, uh, you told for the Surakshit uh, Chukcha Gadi Yojana that uh, you are allotting 2,000 crore, uh, uh, 2, crore rupees, right? Uh, 2,000 crores for Surakshit Chukcha Gadi Yojana, yes. Uh, okay, but in that you mentioned that uh, there should be uh, six constables for the, uh, each coach, okay? But uh, no, in a... Uh, you are wrong. Six constables in each train, not each coach. Um, okay. Uh, if you go according to that data also, if uh, you take uh, six constables in uh, each train, then we have, uh, I think, uh, more than, uh, uh, we have thousands of trains uh, running uh, each day. Okay. It's about uh, 13,000 for your kind information. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so if it is 13,000 and uh, we are having uh, six constables, so that will uh, increase the staff cost. But uh, I don't think so. Uh, we'll be able to make it uh, with uh, 2,000 crore rupees. Uh, we calculated and it comes in 2,000 crore rupees. Uh, and uh, increasing the security will uh, ensure the safety of women and women will be more confidently able to travel in trains. As there is a lack of security in each train, currently so this will uh, increase the security in the railway sector that's why we have introduced this Okay, fine. Uh, my next question is that uh, you, uh, under the uh, Atmanirbhar Bharat scheme, uh, uh, the, your ministry has uh, uh, given 2.5 thousand crore rupees for the military uh, military equipment. Okay, uh, but uh, how are you relating military equipment uh, that is related to defense sector with uh, this uh, Ministry of Railways? Yes, uh, it's... Can I answer it? Uh, Please go uh, ahead, Arshad. Uh, yes. So as our Narendra Modi is starting a new project that is Atmanirbhar Bharat in defense sector, and that is we are liberalizing our defense sector to private companies. So uh, there is really more competitivity in defense sector. As you know that there is a very, we ex import a lot of defense equipment in our uh, defense sector. So to avoid that, there will be, uh, there, uh, uh, Narendra Modi is liberalizing more of our defense sector. And uh, it is projected that there will be many uh, defense companies, uh, private defense companies. So uh, in order to create, uh, in order to uh, imp uh, improve those, improve those on subsidizing, uh, as you know, subsidizing will uh, save their cost, and uh, those uh, private defense companies will be more able to invest in their R and D, research and development. So, Harshit, can I say railways well, can help? Yes, 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 you can. Uh, so, Atma Nirbhar Bharat scheme is basically that we will transport the defense equipment efficiently and cost efficiently, also fuel efficiently. We will take the shortest routes and with that, we are also promoting local, local arts and crafts at major stations. So, there will be small stations where uh, artisans and craftsmen can sell their produce. Okay, fine. Um, uh, my next question would be that uh, for the laying down new tracks, you have allotted a total amount of 1 lakh crore. Am I right? Yes, you are. Okay. Uh, so if we are uh, constructing new tracks, then uh, that would also mean that uh, we need to cut uh, the uh, forests which are uh, coming in the way and uh, uh, we need to evacuate a lot of uh, area. Okay. So that might uh, cross through villages also because you said that uh, we need to connect remote areas also. So many uh, pe many people will uh, lo lose their homes also. Forests will also be cut. So how will you resolve this problem? The cost, which is 1 lakh crore, is due to that only. We'll lay a larger area. Uh, the areas won't be correct, connected diagonally. We'll find different routes to uh, shorten that problem as much as we can. But yes, I agree, some uh, people will lose their homes. But we'll also provide them with homes. That's why the cost is 1 lakh crore. 
Okay, one more question. Uh, if we see the uh, data of uh, the past 10 years, uh, then uh, the number of passengers who travel through the uh, train uh, every year is almost constant. It uh, only came down uh, because of the COVID-19 pandemic since yes. the last two years, but but now it has been constant. Okay, So if we increase the number of tracks, then uh, what will, uh, profit will the government get? Because uh, the number of passengers who are going every day are uh, almost constant. Uh, they are not increasing, right? This is happening because of people now opting for flights by making railway trains more efficient and subsidizing the cost, people will start to use railway trains also. That will increase the customer acquisition. And you have to also see that, uh, uh, that infrastructure is a very key uh, infrastructure is a very key part in the development of our country. So we have to develop our country and industries also need railways. And there are a lot of delays. So these tracks and new state development of stations will reduce delays also. Okay, so one more thing. Um, uh, um, you said that uh, we'll subsidize uh, the rates. So okay, so because of which uh, people will uh, shift from flights to trains, right? But uh, we already know that for subsidy we need a uh, more uh, revenue. That means uh, the uh, demand of uh, budget should be more. Okay, but uh, if you see then uh, uh, the railways, the Ministry of Railways is uh, already in a debt of uh, about uh, rupees twenty two thousand crores. Okay, and uh, if you will provide subsidies, then uh, that will increase even more. So how will you resolve this problem of debt? Thank you, Shivam, and uh, the Ministry of Railway, your time is over. It has exceeded by two minutes.